I was about two in the morning. Uh, I, just, I don't know what made me wake up, but I woke up and there was just flames and fire. And the first thing I could think of was, you know, try to get some water and, you know, so I grabbed a pail of water and once I got up to the room, it was just, it was engulfed. It was too much, you know, the, the pail of water wasn't gonna work, so. And my kids were on the other side of the fire and it was one of them things, you know, I just, I ran and as soon as I could feel them, because it's dark and as soon as I grabbed them, you know, felt them, I grabbed them and got out of there. Saturday, January 30th is a day Kane Gray will not forget. I didn't even realize I was hurt until everybody was downstairs and all the animals were outside. Um, and then I, you know, we just all cried and uh, then I had to get to the hospital. His hands and right foot are now wrapped in bandages, protecting his severe second degree burns and he has to use a wheelchair to get around. I'm dad. What, mom? I'm dad a burn. Okay. His daughter received a minor burn but his other two children and the rest of his family escaped unharmed. And I'm extremely grateful for the community here in Shoto. Uh, you know, Miss Graham and Pastor Kim at the Trinity Lutheran Church and, and everybody who's donated and reached out. You know, people have said, you know, oh, you're a hero. Uh, I'm not a hero, I'm just a dad doing what a dad would do. In Shoto, Coulter Anstad, MTN News.